Hey cute people, 2013 is almost finished in a day or two, then we'll be bringing in 2014. I have all year been saving my empties. I've never done an empty video as far as, well no type of empty video as a matter of fact, but I decided to save all my um bottles, jars, containers, and do one at the end of the year. I never thought that I would have as much as I do. So I'm just going to show you some of the things. Talk about them very, very briefly because I don't want to keep you too long. For me, I'm surprised I even have empties because I very rarely use up something and then buy it again. But um, being natural has taken me on a whole nother type of level slash journey. So here we go, in no particular order, things I like and dislike. Whatever I pull out of this big old bag is what I'll show you. The first thing I want to show you guys, as I am coconut cold wash, cleanse and conditioner, I like this stuff. It smells so good. I got it, I believe, in a curl box. I would definitely, definitely buy it. I believe I have, yes, believe, because I'm not sure I have a review. And anything I have a review on, I'll put the link in the description box and you can find out if I did a demo. And you can actually see how it works in my hair or just a little bit more about the product and stuff. But I would definitely buy that again. I bought this here, Suave Naturals Tropical Coconut um, Body Wash. Ew, I didn't know this was the body wash. But I like this. It was a dollar from Dale's. Or was it two dollars from Dale's? But either way, it's very cheap. It's good, but it's not as good as the soft soap. You know, soft soap, of course, costs a little bit more. But that is a great alternative. Luscious Locks, the Shea Butter Shampoo. I like this stuff. I have a review on it also. This really shocked me. I um, can't say I really would buy it again. Not because I didn't like it, but I just wouldn't buy it again. Also in here, I have this here Skin Deep natural body care almond shea butter souffle i don't know if you remember this ladies but this came in a curl kit or a curl box also and it smells great it smells just like almonds i remember and i think and i hope i did like it <laughs> as a matter of fact i did like this stuff here skin deep it smells good also, St. Ives Fresh Skin Collagen Elastin Facial Moisturizer. I just finished this. Look how big this thing is. Yes, it is so a big. You get a lot in here. It was five. Does it say five ninety nine? But I probably bought it with buy one get something free. I mean, or half off, I should say. And I really like this stuff here. This is really good for mature women and our aging skin <sighs> okay i like this too the avon moisture effective eye makeup remover lotion i like that avon usually sometimes have it on sale for 99 cent but i believe you have to buy something and so forth but that's not bad right okay this i remember i did a um review on this is the nothing but sampler pack and it came in a curl box i remember and i like this stuff right here i don't think that i would really buy um the products from the store not because i didn't dislike it but i think whenever i start purchasing um items for myself i think i'm gonna buy from companies who are small and who are catering for the natural community catering to the natural community so they won't have so many different um mass marketed ingredients in it yeah i know what i mean this here you can't really see is from seneca is it seneca seneca mm. It was a shampoo, hair shampoo bar. And I can't say I found fault with it at all. I'm sorry that the um, letters, they washed off. But it's S-E-N-I-C-A. Yeah. It came in a curl box. 
And that was pretty cool. It wasn't too bad. Now, this here from Frederick Fakai, which is their smooth hair cream, hydrate, hydrating hair cream. I used to use this when I was permed and um, when I went natural. I said, let me continue to use it. I really have to say I do like it. I would not buy it again because remember I just told you I don't want to buy too many mass marketed, you know, manufactured products and so forth and all. But I did like it when I was using it in my hair, natural and perm. This here is the E.T. Bar papaya body lotion and this came in um curl kit or a, a curl box i did not like it this stuff you have you ever tried a lotion that smells so good this stuff smells delicious but then after a while it starts smelling on your body it gives it like a real stinky smell i remember years ago a co-worker had bought us all um uh what do you call it a hand lotion from i believe the body shop and of course, in the tube, it smelled delicious. And I said, put it on my hands. And every now and then, I said, like, what is that stinky smell on me? To me, it makes me think of raw meat. And then I came to the conclusion, it was that lotion. That's what this is the same thing. I don't know if it's my body chemistry or what, but this stuff smells good in the bottle, but on my body. I was coming up the stairs one day, I was out shopping. And I was like, what is that stinky raw meat smell? And then I poured it again, and it was this. So if that ever happened to you, let a sister know. This here is definitely amongst my favorite. Shea Moisture Organic um, Moisture Retention Shampoo. I love this stuff. I remember the first time my hair was, well not the first time, but my hair was real dry. I bought it in a um, little kit. The kit was a big square box. And I have a review on that. You can check that out. But I really love this stuff. Now the box is much smaller. But this right here. This right here. I keep saying that I will keep it in my stash. And I will keep it in my stash. But the only reason why I don't have it in my stash. Because I have enough stuff right now that I'm using. But I think I'm going to keep it in my stash. And just every now and then. Infuse my hair with the moisture retention. Because that stuff is like. Something like the bomb. Also. Super sweet back, Miss Jessie's. I brought this, you know for sure, when she had her buy one, get one free during the holidays. And it smells good. To me, this smells like um, strawberry or cherry Laffy Taffy. It smells really good. It's very expensive. I can't see, but I got it from Ricky's. I would not buy it again. Not because I didn't like it, but because it's more than what I need to be paying for it. anything. Okay, I'm dropping stuff and stuff is falling. Now, did I tell you? I think I did a review on this. I'm not really sure. Like I said, everything that I've done a review on in this bag here, I'll put in the description box. But I can say for sure, I like this. Mm -hmm, I like this. This is a 12-ounce bottle. I've seen people who have bottles, well, sizes bigger than this. I think I've even seen somebody with one that had a pump. I wonder where they got that from. I would use this, but I'm not in a hurry to buy it again because I got so many other things I have to use up before I start buying anything again. And I noticed with the first time that I bought I have some in my stash as a matter of fact. The first time I bought it, it was like say two for five dollars, two for four dollars. Then um right it went up on the price. I guess it's because a lot of natural um I don't know. But I'm just saying. Okay, there's some pillow packs in here. And then I have a lot of stuff by on your handmade that I used up. Oh my goodness, you will not believe how much. And this here I cut open. Yes. I cut this open to get the last bit. And this again, like I said, came out of a little kit. You know, I bought it on sale at um Wall Greens. And as you can see, this is a deep treatment mask. I need not say much about that because if you have used it, you know how I feel. If you have it, you need to try it. That stuff is, again, something like the bomb. Here's the top right there. And this here is the Cocoa Caster Pudding. I did a review on this too. I don't know about you, but for me, I was definitely, definitely disappointed. And why do I have a chip nail? I just noticed that. That is not cute at all. Especially since I just did my nails last night. 
Hmm. I don't like cheap nails. So I gotta hide it. Okay, now this is another product. I'm not sure if I ever talked about this before, but I like this. You see, it's the Photo Organics Nexus Lux Dress Leave In Hair Conditioner. I'm telling you, this stuff right here, the price of it washed off. This stuff right here, when I first, I used to use it when I was permed, went natural, and I still continue to use it. And when it got to be about that much in the bottle, maybe that much or even less, I filled it up with water. And I kept doing that at least two or three times because I knew I was going to buy it again. And it was still just as effective. I'm telling you, this stuff I love. If you want to try something from Nexus, your hair is permed. You can use this. Try it. You'll like it. I don't know if I have a review on it, but again, you know, down below. I um, I'm not really a fan of leave-ins that are not cream. I prefer a cream leave-in, but I did like that. This one here, I can't remember which kit it came in. It's from Naturalista, and it's a leave-in um. Conditioner. This stuff smells so good. I couldn't wait to use it. And oh my god, it smells so good. Let me see if there's a fragrance on here. Again, like I said, it came in one of the monthly subscriptions. Mm. I don't see a name, but it says Juicy Leave In Conditioner. This stuff smells so good. Do you hear me when I tell you? Oh my goodness, how I love this stuff. It made my hair feel great and groovy. I don't think I did a um, review on it, but I like it anyway. And I would buy it too, but I can't. This here, the Luscious Lock Shade Butter Hair Mask. I used it in conjunction with the shampoo. And I like the results of that. I don't think I have a review on it. Yeah, I do. Check it out. Check it out. This one here is called By Nature. I can't really see. But it was a leave-in. Trying to hide that nail. Um, yeah, and it was... I like this too. And it was a cream. Let me see if it's still a smell in it. It has a slight smell, but I can't really remember how it smelled, but I really did like it. And this little bottle here is little. It's an organ oil. It's the one and, is it called one and only? One and only organ oil. I got this little bottle from the beauty supply store. Maybe I should back it up a little bit. How's that? And, um... It was a dollar ninety nine, and it was a dollar ninety nine. I can't really remember if I. I don't think I paid much attention to the effect that it um left my hair in. So I can't tell you if I liked it, disliked it. This here is the first bottle that I had of the Allocate Naturals Lemongrass Leaf In. Mm -hmm. If you remember. Mmm, this stuff smells good. We got one, two small little bottles like this from um, Curl Kit. And then we got the um, Takeover Edition. Okay, now these two products right here. Ori Essentials, the Cleansing Conditioner. And this one is the mm, Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner. Okay. I have a review. I won't go through that again. But I did not like this stuff right here. Check my review out further. This here, if you can see, it was all caked up in the um, bottle. I shook it up. It's really hard stuff. Can you see? Can you see? Look at that. Yeah. And I shook it up and it didn't go not one place. So I. Try to 
melt it up a little bit, but I decided I just took this stuff and threw it in the garbage. I didn't even use it, so I don't know how this song um, would work. That's why whenever I see this in a curl kit, it upsets me because I don't like anything from Ori Essentials. And I wish that um, whoever makes this product would go back to the drawing board and start all over again. A or curl kit, stop giving us this stuff because I don't like it. Okay, now. Did I tell you before, if I didn't tell you before, I'll tell you right now that this company right here is amongst my favorite natural hair care company. I bought all this stuff, you can't see everything, I brought all this stuff um, and more, Black Friday 2012. And I use it all up, I tell you. Oh my goodness, I love everything from Orient Handmade. And you can see, we also got two samples from somebody. I believe these are from Curl Box, but don't quote me. These are two little deluxe sample sizes, which I use those up. And, um... Okay, I'm making a mess. I didn't want to do that. But then you can see, here's some, um, the hairdo. I love this hairdo. Um, the honey hemp, the, um, honey wash. Yes, I would buy all this stuff over again. Over again. As a matter of fact, when I get to, um, use most of the stash that I have, because I want to still try the things, Onion Hand, it will definitely be a company I will be buying everything, everything from them. I got the juices, all of them. These are deluxe samples. I forgot how much it was, but I got these. And same thing, when they were, when I had just a little dot left in it, yes, I did, honey. I put water in it, and it worked just as well. One of these still has something in it? Well, this has a dot dot, and it worked just as well. Do you hear me when I tell you? I couldn't believe it. I, um... Also, the whipped shea butter. I love the burnt sh um, sugar pomade. I told you I'm not into uh, these hard pomades. But this stuff right here, I'm telling you, makes my hair so soft. I can't, I can't tell you enough. And this here, the um, whipped pudding. Yes, I love this stuff too. Mm, it smells like chocolate. It smells so good. Ooh. Mm. And Onion Handmade to me has great sales for Black Friday. At least it was, if you spend a certain amount, shipping was free, which was good too. And I got my products that year. No problem at all. I didn't order anything Black Friday this year. I had to really chill out because it made no sense to buy anything else and I still have all stuff. Like I told you, things that I bought from Black um, Friday last year, I didn't even show you guys. Because I figured why show you when I wasn't even going to be able to use it right away. Yeah, I know. That's a shame, right? But I just want to share with you guys because to me, for me, I'm telling you for me, this is an accomplishment. Because I don't think ever have I ever used up this much product in my life. That just goes to show. I'm a product junkie, so I'll buy it. I'm a product junkie. I need to test it out. I'm a product junkie. I have to use it. I really do. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to do this for the new year so I could purge myself of old stuff while I'm bringing in new stuff. And hopefully my light is doing okay. I don't want to turn the light on because then my surrounding and me would be, have that gray, you know, that yellowish um, cast over it. And I can't stand that. I'd rather be half light, half dark. But hopefully I'm not too dark. Today is a really cloudy day. So it wasn't really sunny. But then I waited so late to do the video. You don't want to call that. But listen. I want to wish you guys a happy new year. Today is Monday. So I guess the new year will be. Well New Year's Eve is tomorrow Tuesday I guess. And the new year is Wednesday. So I probably won't speak to you guys until then. But I want you to have a happy new year. I'm serious. Have a happy new year. I'm telling you. Make it a good one. Make it a great one. We can talk about that later. 
but I'm going to end this video now because I need to. This video is so much longer than I want it to be. So you know I got to chop it up. Because y'all don't need to know everything I've been saying today. So I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. Again for your support. For your comments. Your questions. For subscribing. What, what else can I thank you for? I mean I thank you just for being you. <laughs> So I thank you guys so very much and I really do appreciate it and I'm looking so forward to seeing you guys in the next year. And just so that you'll know, I think I made a mistake when I did my Black Radiance um, video. I'll tell y'all about that another time. But the color I have on today, mm -hmm, I really, really like this. It makes me think of like the 70s, y'all. I'm telling you, like back in the day when... We black women only had a certain amount of colors, which all the time was what I we always to call we all used to call mahogany. Yeah. So this color right here that I have on my lips, if I can find it, honey, this is burgundy royal. Mm -hmm. Isn't it pretty? Mm hmm. How you like my glasses? I went retro on y'all, man. I tell you. But these are just readers. A dollar from deals. A dollar for deals. So, okay. I'm out. I thank you so much. I'll talk to you in the new year. And um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. And I want you all to share and spread love.